this hair is just, I'll tell you one thing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in the laundry room. Nope. This is not the laundry room. Today we are in the dining room and I know what I'm doing and I am a professional. Anyway, we are going to be doing some more projects in here today. We have already done the walls and the floors, which I'll show you in some clips. And I can't look at the light fixture in here for another day. And so just a few small projects in here to do kind of like a, a little makeover in this room. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did in this dining room was take these shelves off of the wall that I'm pretty sure were holding up the house because they did not want to come down. Then I had to patch where they were and then I primed and painted the rest of the walls um, the same color that I painted the living room and the kitchen. Then it was time to do the floors which was an event. But I have an entire video on that whole process so I'll link that here. better so much better from this to this oh my gosh so much better all right we're gonna start taping off these windows like we're painting this area black oh, I'm a little nervous I hope it goes well but that's what we're gonna start doing now we're gonna spray them so like but just super, it's gonna take way longer to prep to spray them than it actually will be to spray them because I just painted the walls and did the floors and I don't want black spray paint everywhere. So that's what we're doing now. so good. It, I love it already.
moved the dining table outside. I'm getting ready to sand it some. I wanted to match the floors a little better. I don't want to completely strip it. That's going to be a lot of work, but I just want to open up the pores a little bit so it'll accept some more stain because it's got a top coat of poly on it right now. So that's what we're going to do. over to kind of think about things and decide what I want to do and this wall is it's I don't, it's just kind of boring me a little bit I think we can make it a little more visually interesting but I want it to be subtle so I'm thinking an accent wall but like a very subtle one when I'm doing a project I always try to like sketch it up it's obviously not to scale but so this is our wall and then these right here these these will be our five vertical pieces. So much math. I'm starting with this centerboard because I want it to be centered on the clock that I already hung and I don't want to move. So I'm starting with the centerboard and then I'm going to use the level to make sure that this one is absolutely level all the way up and down. And then I'm doing the same thing that we did on the half bath accent wall. I'll, I have a spacer that I'll be able to use so they're all spaced evenly and it'll save us a lot of time. we've hit an outlet so I just marked on the board where it is and we're gonna go cut this out this right here the wood filler on our wall so that's going to dry for a while and then we'll need to sand that down but in the meantime I had added this or I changed the doorknob in the back I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera but it's just the point it's not standing out it's just like it just black I don't like it as much as I thought I would have so I'm thinking about this gold which is actually a doorknob from another door in the house and I took some rub and buff and made it kind of antiqued I think I'm really gonna like that.
think the last project for this dining room makeover unless I get any more other ideas but for now the last project is going to be framing out these windows just a simple little frame because we don't have much room up at the top but yeah hopefully we can knock that out today and that'll be the end of the makeover <laughs>